Precision Board Plus HDU, also known as PB Plus, is a lightweight, eco-friendly polyurethane wood substitute that is widely used for sign, model, layup tooling, and boat making. The closed cell, rigid urethane structure makes Precision Board Plus easier to machine, carve, prime, and paint than wood and allows it to last indefinitely. PB Plus is a preferred medium for professionals in the sign, model making, tooling, and marine industries because it won't crack, warp, rot, or absorb anything, allowing you to show off your creativity and craftsmanship for years. The variety of densities allows one to precisely match PB performance characteristics with the job requirements. The primary difference between densities is the thickness of the cell wall. The thicker the cell wall, the higher the density. The higher the density, the stronger, tougher, and heavier precision board becomes, which directly relates to the cost of the product. The wide variety of densities available means that material costs can be managed according to specific job requirements. PB Resin allows you to apply a durable, ultra-smooth finish to your precision board plus sign without any priming or sanding. PB Resin is a two-part modified epoxy resin that can be applied in clear form or mixed with letter and enamels to quickly and easily create a high gloss color finish. Two key points to the success of any resin application are preparation and carefully following instructions. Before you begin, make sure to assemble all of the items you will need to complete your PB Resin application. These include 91% isopropyl alcohol for eliminating bubbles, cups, mixing sticks, syringes for getting into tight areas or for small lettering, a squeeze bottle, depending on your application preference, a stopwatch, gloves, a piece of white paper or newspaper with print for checking color. Make sure the surface you are working on is level. An unlevel working surface allows the resin to break free of its surface tension and run. PB resin is mixed at a 50-50 ratio by volume of part A to part B. One ounce of mixed resin covers approximately 11 square inches at a thickness of a sixteenth of an inch. After estimating how much volume you'll need, pour half of that volume of part A into a clear cup. Pour an equal amount of part B into a separate cup. Empty the part B cup, the thinner component, into part A. Set your timer to two minutes and begin mixing for the full two minutes. This is absolutely essential to ensure a complete reaction and full cure. Work your mixing stick along the sides and bottom of the cup to ensure everything is fully mixed. At approximately a minute 50 seconds, you'll see the two components coming together, so be sure to mix for the full two minutes. If applying in a hot environment, place components in a refrigerator approximately 15 minutes prior to mixing to extend working time. If part A has become too thick or has crystallized, it has gotten too cold in shipping or storage. Place container in bucket of warm water until it returns to a less viscous state and continue on with mixing your resin. First, thoroughly mix your paint. Add approximately one teaspoon of paint per eight ounces of mixed resin. For smaller batches, start with a few drops of paint. We like to use letter enamels. Thoroughly mix the paint into the resin for about one minute. Place a drop of tinted resin on a printed piece of paper, and if the print is visible, add another drop of paint to the mixture. The proper amount of tint is just enough to block out the print. If too much paint is added, it will prevent it from curing. Pour contents into a clean cup for application. Pour a small amount of resin into the center of the area you are working in. Using a tongue depressor in a flat orientation, carefully pull small amounts of resin towards the edges. It is important to pull and not push the material. At this stage, you are simply trying to achieve full wet out of the working area. By wetting to the edge, you are taking advantage of the resin's surface tension that keeps it from pouring over the edge. Wet out creates a path for the resin to flow. Gradually add additional small amounts of resin to the center of your work area, helping it to flow out. Be careful not to add too much as this may overpower the surface tension and cause the resin to flow over the edge. On a level surface, the resin will naturally flow over the wetted area in a dome-like fashion, creating a smooth and even finish. 
Air bubbles will naturally appear and are part of the normal curing process. Spray with a light mist of 91% isopropyl alcohol to draw out the trapped air. Wait 10 minutes and spray another light mist of isopropyl alcohol to eliminate any additional bubbles. Larger bubbles can be popped and the resin will flow back in. PB resin will fully cure in 24 hours to a rock hard glossy finish that is very durable. PB resin will remain tacky for most of that time, so keep your work in a dust free environment or cover to prevent contamination. For extra protection against UV damage and to obtain the full life of the paint, apply a UV stable clear coat after fully cured. Application techniques for PB resin are not hard to learn, but it may take a little practice, so we suggest you experiment first. Coastal Enterprises is happy to provide samples of PB resin or any of the companion products to get you started.